So I've got this wet bar here, and so far everything's good. I've, I've defined the width, and I can tweak the width. I can define the depth. What I like to do, though, is I like to move it, and whenever I adjust the width of it, I want the sink to always stay right in the middle. That's why my goal is I want that sink to stay in the middle. Now, I can't simply just assign the existing stretch action to include it because then it's always going to be you know this distance away from the end so it's always going to stay that you know 18 inches from the end as it moves so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to find a second stretch action so i'm actually going to use the same width parameter or linear distance there but what i want to do is i want to change the the effects of the of the stretch action so i'm going to do a stretch and i'm going to select the same linear parameter so yes same grip, same parameter, it's going to have two actions associated to it. So in this case, my stretch frame is actually going to be in this area. I'm not actually stretching, I'm just going to end up moving. Um, so I, I suppose I could have done this as a move instead of a stretch, um, but at least then I'm going to be consistent. So there's the objects I want to stretch. Now I really haven't changed anything here. I mean, I've got the same results as if I had included in the, in the existing stretch action. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick this stretch action and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down in here to the distance multiplier and i'm going to put a 0.5 distance multiplier on that so what that means is that for every one unit that the bar width changes the sink is only going to move half a unit so in that case that should keep that right in the middle so let's close this and let's go try it so now if i come in here and i pick this block and we take this and move this notice how that stays right in the middle so you can use that distance multiplier on that stretch. The other thing that you can do is you can actually tie multiple actions together. So if this one happens, then this move has to happen at the same time. So that might have been an alternate method of, of doing this as well.